Hello everybody and welcome back. In this video we're going to look at how we prepare our devices and handle things like updates and backups. So I'm going to go ahead and plug in six devices and after a moment the devices will show up on the screen. Now by default it may begin to show the devices in this configuration. Now if I click on view this is collection view. Now personally I prefer to use the list view because it gives you information not only about the device but the version and other important information as well. So you can see these four devices are already supervised devices. So these are devices that I've been using previously using Apple Configurator 1 and um, they've already got apps on so they're prepared and they're ready. However these two devices down here you can even see by the icon are blank and they're not supervised at the moment. They're not prepared. So these two devices we're going to prepare now. So preparing devices is not something you need to do every time you plug in the iPads, which is why I'm not adding prepare settings to one of the blueprints. To prepare devices, simply select the ones you want to prepare. So I'm going to hold down command, click on this one, and now they're both selected. And then up here, click on prepare. So let's go through the prepare settings. Okay, we're going to begin by the configuration. And at the moment we want it to be on manual. Automatic enrollment has to do with mobile device management or MDM. And certainly schools should begin looking into MDM solutions to help manage their iPads, especially as more schools are moving towards bring your own device. For the moment we're going to choose manual and click on next. So we'll then be asked if we want to enrol in MDM or mobile device management. Many schools are not using this at the moment, so we're going to choose do not enrol. But if you were, this is where you could choose your server settings. For now, keep it on do not enrol and click on next. So we want our devices to be supervised. And we also want to allow them to pair with other computers. Supervised means we'll be allowed to push out apps and other settings and documents to the iPads and allowed to pair with other computers will mean that staff, students can plug their iPads into computers to do things like downloading photos and so on. Make sure both these options are ticked, click on next. If this is the first time you've used Apple Configurator 2, you'll be prompted to input your organisational details here. I've already done that, so I'm choosing the organisation and clicking on next. At the next screen, we want to make sure that don't show any of these steps is selected. This way, we can prepare the devices without even having to touch them. And that's all of the steps. Finally, click on prepare. A window at the top of the screen will tell you that it is preparing the iPads and it's preparing two iPads because that's what we selected. It'll tell you the steps. And after a few moments, the preparation will be complete. So the preparation stage has just completed with the iPads. Now you can see that the iPads are supervised and the organization name has been applied to them. Now I haven't had to touch these iPads at all apart from to plug them in, which is a vast improvement on Apple Configurator 1. So now that these devices are prepared, we're going to be adding apps and profiles to them. And adding of apps and profiles is done via the blueprints, which we'll cover in the next video.